Hey everybody, uh, my name is Mark. Um, overall, I found the content of the course to be really well varied with lots of specific individual stories to learn from. Um, and the large number of real world examples and stories for me made the content more engaging than if we were to have learned mostly about just theories and techniques on their own. Um, this is especially true since community work, as I've come to learn, uh, does need to be so tailored to the specific area, the problem, and the resources at hand. Um, there is no one-size-fits-all. And so I found uh, the design of the course to be engaging as well. I've had a lot of uh, courses in the past where the structure basically consists of read chapters three and four, and then write two pages on this prompt, rinse and repeat. Um, and so having a, a varied um, collection of specific projects uh, spread out uh, among the weekly tasks over the course of the semester uh, made the content uh, more interesting since our approach to learning was varied. Um, I found the collection of visuals and videos and articles, podcasts and so forth to be a nice mixed collection of learning tools as well. Uh, my biggest takeaway um, is the need for input from all stakeholders, but especially uh, from the beneficiaries. Uh, I think, I, I want to say that's something I knew, but um, its Im importance was really cemented in my brain over the course of these uh, last few weeks. Um, I was surprised by just how important it is uh, for beneficiaries and community members to have as much input um, as possible uh, to the extent where you know familiarity with the situation might even be more important than somebody an outsider's experience solving those types of problems in the past at different places um, I was uh, really inspired uh, by the Boston suburb story far and away uh, that was the most inspiring part for me um, just the amount of effort and determination poured into those projects for so many years was truly remarkable for me and by um, folks who had never done that type of thing before uh, for the most part it, it was um, really quite a story um, going forward in my own work uh, I'm going to take the ABCDs um, with me. I'm, I'm always looking for additional tools to try and see a situation through a different lens or perspective defined under appreciated assets and hidden solutions. And I feel that asset-based asset uh, community development does just that. Um, it's also the topic uh, in this class that I want to learn more about going forward. I think it, it's, it's really interesting as a concept and the more specific examples I learn about and I can read and watch going forward, um, I can find out more about its application and better learn how to use it myself. Um, for uh, my two classmates from whom I learned a lot this semester, I'm, I'm going to go with my, uh, my teammates on my projects, um, Julia and Laney. They were great sources of information and learning for me. Um, logistically, they were both organized and flexible, which made for such a smooth uh, learning and um, collaborative process. And their eclectic uh, collection of experiences brought insightful and, and knowledgeable additions to our uh, class-wide discussion and post conversations on the, on the threats uh, each week, with Laney knowing the Phoenix area well. Um, and having both nonprofit and for-profit uh, professional experience kind of all mixed together, and then Julia for her years of experience in the nonprofit world, specifically um, with Best Buddies, which um, the more I learned about, the more it seemed like such a cre creative approach to um, to fill such a, a, a void. So, yes, bo I'm both great teammates. I was very fortunate to have them. Uh, to, to bounce ideas off of and learn from them. So uh, thanks to them. Um, have a great uh, fall to everyone coming up. And thank you again.